Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to update an installed resource pack. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well, and also click on subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos, and take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. Okay, let's get to it. Updating an installed resource pack is actually very simple to do, but there are a couple of steps to go through first. And the very first of those things is to make sure that you have the resource pack available for placing back up again. Not the one that's already installed, but the one that you're working on. Now, if you have your own custom resource pack, that's perfect. That's what you want to be using. If you don't have that and you want to be updating a different resource pack that's installed on your system, I'll show you where you can find that as well. Okay, let's just switch over to the desktop and do some folders, and I'll show you where to find these things. Here we go. Now, ideally, you're working on a resource pack that you have created a custom resource pack, and if you're following my previous video, then you should have a folder like this that has your custom pack inside of it. And that's all you actually need. So you go ahead and make your adjustments in here, probably changing textures, maybe you know blocks, different blocks, whatever. So make your adjustments in here, and then you should be at this point, and we can then take this and turn this into or use this to update the existing resource pack. So we'll look at that in just a second. Now, if you don't have your resource pack, like we have our custom one sitting right here, if you don't have that already, but you have a resource pack that's installed and you want to update an installed resource pack, let me show you where you can find those. Just open up any drive window, I'll use a different one over here, and then type in percent local app data and then percent again and that takes you into this folder here is the app data folder and the local subfolder of that now i need to scroll down and we're looking for a folder named packages and it's right there open that one up now see a whole bunch of stuff in here what you want is one that says microsoft.minecraft so I'll scroll down, we'll find that there's only going to be one of those. And that's right there, Microsoft.Minecraft and a bunch of other stuff. But that's the important bit right here. Open that one up. Now inside of here, you want to go into local state right there. Inside of local state, go into games. And then go inside of this folder. And then here, you're going to find your resource packs right there. I'll just open that one up. And there's one that I currently have installed. This is actually the exact same thing here that I have in my working folder right over here. You can see how they actually match right there. So that's how you can find the installed resource packs if you don't happen to have a copy of that. Hopefully, though, you're working on your own custom resource pack. This is the easiest way to do this. Okay, so that's where that will be. And I'll put a link for this on my Minecraft Bedrock page on my website. There's a link for that in the description. So you can go ahead and then get this link and a description on how to access that a little file on that page. So easy to get to. Now once you've located this folder, let's go back to the resource pack folder right there. You want to copy this over to a new location on your hard drive because we'll be deleting this from the game and then replacing it. So make sure you take this and copy it to a new location. Let me just show you that real fast here. I'll just back up one step. Here's my custom resource pack folder location. And I'll right click. And then we're going to choose copy right there. Back over here. Right click and choose paste. Let that copy the whole thing over. It'll go relatively quickly. And that will then give us a copy of this resource pack over here. Once we have that copy over here, we can then open that resource pack make our changes to the textures, whatever, and then get that set up for uploading back into Minecraft Bedrock. So when you're making your updates to your resource pack, you always want to be doing that on a pack that's not currently installed inside of Minecraft. That could mess things up. So always make sure you're working on a, a non-installed copy, and we'll then swap those out in just a bit here. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause the video for a second, let that finish copying over, and we'll then get back into this. Okay, so we have our resource pack. We've made our adjustments. We now need to re-zip this up. Now, normally when you make a new custom pack, you have to go into the manifest JSON file right here, and you have to get a new UUID number right there, and another new UUID number right here. 
we don't have to do that this time because we're updating the file we're not going to be adding in a new file so the next step is to compress all this stuff once you've made your adjustments in your textures whatever it is that you're doing compress all this stuff back into a zip file I'll click on the top folder up here hold the shift key down click on the bottom folder right click and then I normally use 7-zip for zipping these things up but whatever program you have that, that zips it is fine just make sure you're going to an archive and make sure that you're using the zip file format that's the most important part of this right there it has to be in the zip file format and then I'll change the name up here I'm just going to call this one updated resource pack like that and it's a zip folder and then I'll zip that up now it takes just a little bit for it to zip this up that's not that big of a deal so this is the first part of that is after you have major changes just re-zip it back up again again you don't need to change anything in the manifest.json because we're using the same stuff for this the next step once this is done is going to be taking down the current resource pack and then replacing it with this resource pack okay there we go it's zipped up and it's right down here I'm just going to move this back up one level I'll just drag this up here and drop it onto the custom resource pack folder and there we go update a resource pack and the next thing you need to do is just to rename this right now it says zip you just want to change that zip to MC pack there it goes it's going to get you a warning like this just ignore the warning and say yes that's just fine and when you make that change you should see the minecraft icon over here on the left hand side okay that's all ready to go now let's go in and remove the existing one so we can then put this one back up in its place okay i'll just bring that up okay now I'll go into settings right here and as soon as we're inside of settings there we are let's just scroll down and go to global resources this shows you your currently installed packs so if you have that one installed let's say I had this one running I'll just activate it so it's up here under active so that's my custom resource pack you first have to deactivate the pack just click on it and then click on deactivate so it's no longer up here in the active section it should be showing down here under my packs okay that's taken care of now go over here to storage and you'll see resource packs right here open this up click on that little arrow right there and you'll see your resource pack right here click on that resource pack and hit the trash can and we're going to be deleting this now it says that these, these items will be lost forever not actually true because of course we have them on our hard drive it's just removed from the game and we're going to be putting these back up again in just a moment okay so go ahead and hit delete and that's going to go away and as soon as that's out of the game we can then put our updated file back up in its place okay there it is it's now gone it's not showing here let's double check on global resources it's not showing down here under my packs so that's fine let's go back here I'll leave this playing let me just minimize this a bit here like that bring it down in size and there is our updated one right here simply double click on that and it's going to import you can see it right down there it's going to be importing right now now this is going to go away like that it's going to disappear but it's still importing so give us some more time don't no don't be in a hurry or a rush about this one wait for it to tell you that it has finished the import and it's going to see that here in just a moment or two it goes pretty fast so we'll just let this run here and as soon as that's up and showing actually i'll just go ahead and i'll maximize so even though i'm not seeing anything happening right now it's still importing it's still working on this and i'll go ahead and give it the time it takes to do that it just takes a minute or so to actually do the import it's really pretty fast there we go there is our successfully imported the pack okay so that pack has been installed go back into settings let's just double check so i'll scroll down look in storage first there you go we're now seeing it in here there's a resource pack the name and all this stuff didn't change because that was already included in that file in the manifest json file under global resources we should be seeing it now under my packs open this up there it is again that's all just fine click on activate double check your active ones and now it's running again so there it is that's all you have to do to update an existing resource pack again it's a, a kind of a two-step process first take your existing resource pack that's not in minecraft make all of your changes all of your adjustments on that one and then recompress that and change the name back to mc pack and then the second part is to deactivate the one that's installed 
go over to storage and then delete that over here. Once that's been deleted, you can then double click on your new compressed file. It will then reinstall that and you can then find it back here and then click on that and reactivate and you're all set to go. So there you go. That is how to update a resource pack inside of Minecraft Bedrock. I'll just give it just a second here to make sure that, that has fully finished. And there we go. Almost. It's still thinking about it. Okay, there it is. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. Likes and shares help me keep the channel going. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. And take a look at my channel for more Minecraft videos. Okay, and I'll see you next time.